Hello guys! On YouTube there are many beautiful projects to create a rather famous clock called World Clock using a 16x16 LED matrix. Of course I wanted to think differently and so I decided to create a new device called Weather Forecast World using a LED matrix and an ESP8266. I used a spreadsheet such as Number for Mac or Excel for Windows to create a 16x16 cells matrix by inserting the words that make up the weather forecast. I will use this 16x16 matrix of WS2812B addressable RGB LEDs. Later, when I develop the software for ESP8266, I will have to use this table to determine which LEDs in the matrix should light up corresponding to the words that make up the weather forecast. As always, using Fusion 360, I designed the container to use one color for the letters and one color for the box. I create a space where the ESP8266 microcontroller will be inserted. Then, using Prusa Slicer, I prepare a file for the 3D printer that manages two colors. Finally, I prepare the file for the back of the box. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser, and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM, and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at thepcbway.com. And now it's time to print using my Boron 2.4 3D printer. And this is the final result. Now we added the threaded inserts for fixing the bottom of the box using a soldering iron. Wire connections are super easy. Pin D4 of the SP8266 must be connected to the input pin of the matrix. And now let's connect the wires of the GST connector. We only use two wires, GND and 5V, because we will program the microcontroller first. Hit the shrinking tubing. Insert the matrix, taking care to the position of the LEDs inside the cells. Insert the GST connector.
and connect the ESP8266 to 5 volt and input signal of the matrix. Close the box with M3 screws. I put the link in the description of the source code that you can load into the Arduino IDE. You need to download these libraries. The website that will provide us information on the weather forecast is uh, Open Meteo. These are the codes that Open Meteo website give us back. Fill in the data of your Wi-Fi network name and password correctly. Enter longitude and latitude. And that's all.